right, so this isn't much of a crazy video, but I was asked uh, by a couple of different people, um, Chuck Pierce being one of them, um, as far as how we hang air handlers with our the chain. So we primarily deal with Lennox um, air handlers, um, but we pretty much do it the same way if we hang in carrier and whatnot with other contractors. But um, for the most part, what we do is we use our Unistrut um, here for the simple fact that because Lennox is a two-part cabinet, it's got this joint here in the middle. Um, really, the only thing holding that joint together are these plastic inserts that go, you know, in quite a ways, but, um, and you've got a screw here, you've got a screw here, and then two on the back side that are holding it together. So what happens if you don't have the Unistrut on it, um, it tends to want to break and, you know, fall down once you take the, the doors off and it makes lining up the doors very hard. So what we do is actually use these eye bolts that are through bolted up in here um, straight through the the oval holes it's washered top and bottom um, and then periodically we'll actually screw it uh, through the the cabinet with just simple sheet metal screws um, the return gets bolted kind of the same way um, what we started doing was adding another unistrut in the back. We used to only actually only do it here in the front. Um, and I really only need to do it here in the front if we use the, the thicker stuff. Um, but we like the thinner, makes it easier to get the, the eye bolts, um, you know, the chain on the eye bolts and whatnot. So we started using the two or the thicker just because a lot of the stuff we deal with here is the X13 motors. Um, and because of the added weight, it was still making this want to bend. It wasn't nearly as bad and you didn't have to worry about it coming apart, but nevertheless, it was still bad enough that it made the door a pain in the neck to get it back on. So, <clears throat> through bolted through, the unit strut screwed down to the top of the cabinet, um, and then we use the, the eye hooks, which are just the, the legs. So, we lag them in, we use the chain, it takes up a lot of the vibration, um, and you're good to go. All right, guys, so, so that's basically how we hang the air handlers. Um, reason we do it more so that way than um, with a cradle and threaded rod is this is just, it's fast. Um, issues that I guess guys have run into um, in the past were that the water, if it were to overflow the pan and make its way out of the air handler, it would tend to travel or tend to want to travel um, across the cradle itself and make it past the secondary pan. Unless you made the secondary pan as big as you make the cradle, um, which I guess when they were doing it, you know, they were trying to leave as much out of the way as they could for service, so to get the blowers out, to get the, the coils out if need be. Um, so that distance from the air handler out to the edge of the threaded rod or cradle um, was growing too much, so why make a pan that big? And it, it got to be the point where, I guess with the older air handlers, especially the old Lennox air handlers, they were so so damn wide that, I mean, a regular sheet of metal was, you know, you needed to order these you know, giant sized pieces of metal to try to make a pan. Um, anyway, so we do it this way. Um, there are times, depending on how high the air handler is hung off of the, the deck of the, the attic um, that I will suspend the, the pan from the bottom of the unit. Um, usually we make up these you know funky cleats that are, are bent um, 
So, generally speaking, I will strap the pan down to the deck because I'm usually only you know this much higher than the top of the pan, so it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's it. I mean, like I said, we I had gotten a few questions as to how we do it. So basically, that's it, kind of in a nutshell. Um, I wanted to film us actually doing it. Um, how I set it all up and why I put things in certain spots. Uh, and just on these air handlers, I mean, every air handler is different, but you know, just so you can get your hand back there to get the nuts and washes and stuff on. Um, but we were so swamped, I had to get it hung and didn't have my camera on me and didn't have a place to really set up for the set a phone up. So, you know, to try to video it. So, so that's that. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, you can email me, bkwelder, W-E-L-D-E-R, 102 at gmail.com. Um, and I'll gladly answer anything that you guys need. Um, I'll probably do another video. Um, I think we have another job coming up. I'm not sure if we got it or not. Maybe I'll do a walkthrough as to you actually hanging it, uh, not just showing it after the fact. So, alright, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.